Bop, ba da bop, bop, bop. What's the good word, guys? Matt here, country song teacher, acoustic selection. So many channels, y'all know how it is. Hope y'all do well, guys. Doing huge things in your life. Welcome to another He Played What Wednesday, y'all's favorite day of the week. Mine too, where we just kind of grab the guitar and play some random song that's not country, even though I love country music. Don't mean all, I love country music. But sometimes it's just fun to. song if you play acoustic guitar you got to learn i'm gonna switch it up even a little bit this time and actually zoom in and show you exactly what i'm doing it's going to use the four chords g c e minor and d now, i don't know if you felt if you follow my other lessons i kind of play those chords a lot but hey let's, let's zoom in a little fast here and show you exactly the strumming pattern and how you play this song all right, yeah, I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and show y'all a different angle that kind of zooms in just on the guitar so for my four chords remember you're going to lock in it's the first fret, second fret, third fret, and so forth. Lock in the two bottom strings of your third fret, and then go fifth and sixth for your G. For the strumming pattern on each of these four chords, you're gonna do the, the top note, kind of the bass. So top note, strum, and then you'll go down up on the second and third string. So again, it's just the bass strum, top string on G. So bass drum, strum. If you have to play the bottom E, that's fine, but try to leave out this high string. When you go to a C, when I say C, it's really a C add nine. So you're keeping the bottom two locked, and instead of fifth and sixth, you're gonna move down to the fourth and fifth, and you're gonna the fifth. So remember on the G, you're playing the top string for that bass drum. On the C add nine or C, you're playing the fifth string. On the D, keep the bottom two locked, press the third string, second fret, and play the fourth. So it goes up. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this so, so on E minor, the last chord, keep the bottom two locked. I use one finger and press the fifth and fourth together. If you've got to use two fingers, you have smaller hands, that's fine. But again, I keep the bottom two locked and I press the fifth and fourth. Kind of keep it close to that fret bar on the second fret. I press right between there. And this one you're playing the fifth string is your bass drum. So make sure you know on the G chord, it's the sixth string. The C add nine and the E minor, go to the fifth one, and on the D, the fourth. So. That chorus, it goes, It's something unpredictable And in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So I did there, for the chorus, E minor, G, E minor, G, E minor, D, G. So something unpredictable. That whole, every time you're doing that same strumming pattern, So really, even if you want to keep it simple, just do that bass drum and back and forth until it's time for the chord change. But again, 
Y'all know me a lot. The most of the time, I don't use a guitar pick. It might be a little easier on a song like this actually using a pick, but I'm just doing the, I'm just using my fingernail. A lot of people ask me how I do that. I just kind of take the outside of my fingernail and do that. So anyway, hope it helps you guys. All right, y'all let me know in the comment section below if that helps you all at all, me zooming in on the guitar. For some reason, I take for granted that everybody can see what I'm doing with my hands and fingers on the chords, that kind of thing. So I'll just shoot it from far away. But maybe it helps you, you know, if I zoom in and kind of show you close up what I'm doing with the, with the chords and, and picking that kind of thing. So hope you love this song like I do. It's pretty cool for sure. Check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. If you like these four chords, G, C, E minor, and D as much as I do, um, you want to check this out for sure. I was just going over. Um, uh, my family is really good friends with the coach of the Carolina Hurricanes, Rod Brindamore. Uh, I was going over these four chords with him last night at my brother's house. Uh, and I was telling him how if you can play these four chords, you can play about any song you can think of with country, praise and worship, that kind of stuff. So if you want my songbooks, DVDs, strumming DVDs, all that stuff, countrysongteacher.com. I would sure appreciate your support. I'm working on a, um, a sandbar songbook as well. I'm probably halfway done. So uh, be, be on the lookout for that. It's coming soon. Love you guys. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and please subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you.